All right, in this video, I'm gonna run my used oil burner. I think this thing turned out so good that I'd like to see how long like a gallon of oil lasts. I'm gonna measure it at like one hour, then I'll measure it at two hours and so on. So we'll see how much oil this burns. Now it's gonna all depend on how much, how hot I'm burning it. I wanna get my garage, which is about a thousand square foot garage. I wanna get this up to 70 degrees. Now it's gonna take a little while because I think it's only, I'll show you the temperature here, but looks like my temperature is about 54, almost 54. So I'm going to run this. We'll see how much oil I burn. I'm probably going to try to go to out to maybe at least five hours, maybe eight hours if I can. I know it'll burn that long. It's just if I have that enough time to stay at my house eight hours. And then at the end of this five or eight hours, however long I get to burn it, I'm going to see how bad this looks inside. I just cleaned this out. I mean, it's not. So I got all my oil in this five gallon gas can. And I know in my other video I said I didn't think I'd use this flat very much, but actually I use this quite a bit. So I have this little wire and I measured, so I have gallon marks, which this should be one gallon, then two, three, four, five, all the way up to there. See the little black marks? And I stuck it down in there. I'll show you. I can pick this up, drop this down in. Oops, looks like I'm just a little under. So we'll know where I'm at. I'm gonna, let me try, I can put a little more in there. Looks like I'm a little under what they would call five gallons. I measured it up to the safe fill line of this five gallon gas can. I can only put a little more in there anyway, so I'm gonna try to add just a little more to get that up to the exact five gallons. Then I'm gonna light this up and start it. All right, let's check it again. I just added a little more and I'm pretty much as high as I can go. I am right to the top of this flap, so I'm gonna dip that down in there. Oh, that's dang close. I'm just from the top, from that top mark, maybe like an eighth of an inch, so we'll just have to remember that when I take my first reading, I was already about an eighth down. But this is my little tiny blower. If you didn't see my other video of me building this, I do have a video on that, so watch that video if you wanna see all this build, and I'll have I'll have links to all this stuff in that video. This thing works awesome. You'll see here in a second. All right, let me get this lit up. Gloves on, mainly because I just don't feel like getting my hands filthy because things are kind of black from the oil. I'm going to put a little oil on the bottom of this pan. Just coat the bottom of that. There's diesel in here. You don't want to use gasoline to light this. Diesel is not near as flammable. So I'm gonna put a little diesel in there. That should be good. Nice thing is that lays right on these blocks. It's a little bit pain to get in there. Put it in, lift this up, and then it hits the back. So I gotta come back here and lift this up. I'm gonna try. No, well, we're gonna leave. Yesterday I burnt this and I kept that crack just a little bit. Right, I think everything looks good. I'm gonna try to light this, I don't know, down to one of these holes. I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna try. All right, let's see what happens. I never tried lighting it down to one of them holes. I think I wanna drill one of them holes out bigger. Light, baby, light. There we go. Oh. There. She's lit. Oh, good. That worked. I think if I make that hole bigger, it'd be a lot better. Now let's see how long it takes till I get this thing ripping. Let's start my stopwatch. There we go. Already starting to go. Now I'm going to give it just a little bit of air because that's where I'm going to burn it. Let me show you where I set my air. I marked this all yesterday. So just turn this up. Just like that. Open this up so I can see my flow. Now look at it go. That's only been about a minute and 50 seconds. That dog dish is up off my concrete. Just, it's like maybe about a quarter, like 
one eighth of an inch maybe off the concrete. It doesn't look like it, but it is. It sits on them, sits on them blocks. These are just normal, or these blocks are about three and three quarters of an inch. Pretty much that fire and the air coming, sucking in here is making more noise than the fan itself. Now I know that fan doesn't look like a really good fan, but it was really cheap. So like if you would use something like this, I will have that fan in the description along with this exhaust pipe I bought because it goes together perfect. I didn't even have to put a hose clamp on it, fit in so nice. So that will be in the description of my other video. Oh, she's slowing down. Guess I better get some oil in there. I'm gonna get her going, and then I'll slow her down when she's once I hear it take off again. There we go. All right, this is what my oil is set at. I'm gonna turn that down just. Yeah, that's about as low as I can get it. All right, now I'm only about eight minutes into this. Set a timer for one hour. All right, I got my timer set for one hour. All right, so now I have my timer set for one hour. I'll get back with you here in a couple seconds, and I'll let you know how much oil I burnt in an hour. All right, I have about two more minutes left, and then that hour went by. And like I said, this is a thousand square foot garage, and I think I have on the one side of my garage has like 11 foot ceilings and on the other side they're actually low maybe about seven foot ceilings so let me see what we got here oh there we go two seconds okay all right let's see how much i had to adjust my fan a couple times because as this oil heats up it starts flowing different, so you kind of have to watch it. I think I have it set really good right now for the rest of the experiment here. Let's open this up, see how much we burnt. It definitely did go down. Looks like, looks like I burnt maybe a little bit over a half a gallon in an hour. So if it's a little bit below this dot here in two hours, then we'll know it's about a half a gallon an hour. And I'll show you the temperature I got my garage up to. Take you over here. My thermometer is all the way on the other side of my garage. So we got close. We're getting close to that 60. I'm right up to about 58 degrees. So hopefully in another hour or so, I'll hover up to maybe 65 degrees. I really don't want to burn it any hotter than it is. Yeah, I don't want to really burn this any hotter than it is because my exhaust there is like cherry red, about half of it. And I'm kind of leaving it like that. It's not completely red, so I think it's okay for now. I could still slow her down a little bit, but it's burning good. It's not filling up down there with oil. I might adjust it a little couple more times. Set me a timer for one hour. One hour, counting down. All right, I got another hour down. We'll see how much more I burn. All right, my timer's up. Still burning pretty decent. I had to adjust it a couple times. Let's see where we're at. This is right around two hours. Well, it looks like I'm still, I still didn't even burn a gallon. Now that might be because the way my tank is shaped here, it's a little smaller at the top. Now it's down, getting into the bigger section. So it looks like so far, it looks like I only burn maybe a gallon every two hours. So then let me let this go for another two more hours and we'll see what it looks like. Set me a timer for two hours. Two hours, counting down. All right, there we go, we got two hours. And my garage is staying, I'll show you here. Over here, we're staying about 61 right now. Probably two hours from now, I gotta be getting closer to the 68, 70, I'm hoping, but it feels really good out here. I had to take my sweatshirt off. That's what it's looking like right now. And I'll show you my drip feed. And that right there is what my drip feed set at still. Seems to be staying right there now. 
All right, I'll get back to you in two hours. All right, there, my timer just went off. That's been two hours. So let me take a measurement, see how much oil we burn up in two hours. I mean, yeah, actually this would be how much oil I burn up in four hours. Looks like I went through about a gallon and a half. Let me see, one, two, three and a half. Yep, I went through a gallon and a half oil in four hours. You see that, it's right about there. There's one, two, three and a half left, and I got one and a half, that makes five. So, not too bad for four hours of burning. Now, my garage is only, well, <laughs> I was making some brackets here and painting with black paint. My whole garage smelled really bad, so I had to crack my garage door, but my garage is still staying my garage still stayed right around 62, 63. I cooled her down a little bit just because of cracking my door. But And that's what my burner has looked like for the last... And my burner's been... What in the heck? I got hair hanging here. And my used oil burner's been burning like that for pretty much the last two hours. I haven't really touched it. So now that I got it running real good, I've just been leaving it like that. It's real nice. I don't have everything super red hot. I'll show you the temperatures. Nice thing of heating with this used oil is my temperature stays real steady, real steady. I mean, nothing goes up and down. I don't have to keep filling it up with wood. I'd have had to fill that thing probably one or two times by now. I mean, unless I had some good wood on there. All right, there, the top stays right around that 350 to 400 degrees. My exhaust stays right around 360. That's what mine's been staying. And that ro brake rotor is about 400 degrees. And the exhaust is about 550. It's been staying like that nice and constant for this last couple hours. So now I think I'm gonna try to get out to that eight hour mark. So I'm gonna let this go for another four hours and we'll measure that one last time and that should be it. And then I will show you what the pan looks like at the end of this. Set me a timer for four hours. Four hours, counting down. Here we go. All right, now let me let this burn for four more hours and I'll get back to you in a couple seconds. All right, while I'm waiting for this to burn for four more hours, let me take you out and show you what, my, what the exhaust looks like coming out of the chimney. Probably could shut my door. All right, that is what it looks like up coming out of my exhaust. Just a little bit of black smoke. I don't know if I need more air or what I need to get that to be totally clean. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Should I, do I gotta give it more air or what do I gotta do? Or does that look good? All right, let me let this run for another four hours and I'll get back with you. All right, looks like I have about one minute and 30 seconds to go. And the temperature on top of my wood stove did stay same temperature pretty much the whole time, which was nice. It's like 350 to close to 400 degrees up top. And that brake rotor is 500 degrees. It all stayed right around the same temperatures the whole time, which was nice. I have not touched that for hours. So this is the eight hour mark. You have to take my word for it. My garage stayed right around 66 degrees, which feels perfect out here. Uh, probably didn't help that I had to crack my door a couple times. I had to end this in my awesome truck stop cowboy hat and my slippers. Eight seconds, six seconds, five, four, three, and I'm gonna shut this valve over here. Shut her down. Yep, now she's shut off. Now I gotta let everything burn out from inside the dog bowl, and then I'll show you what that looks like inside that dog bowl after eight hours of burning. All right, let's dip my measuring device down in here. So we have, looks like out of five gallons, 
I have about two and a half left. So I burnt, in eight hours, I burnt like two and a half gallons. Can you see that? Yeah, it's right out there, the tip of my thumb. Two and a half gallons in eight hours. That's kind of impressive. Give me a little bit of time to let that cool down and quit burning, and I'll show you what that looks like inside that dog bowl. All right, time to pull this out, see what she looks like. And if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching my video. And if you're not a subscriber already, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And you can see the side, this side here's where all the oil was going. It's a little more build up there. That's what it looks like after eight hours of burning. You guys can see that. I'll scrape it out and put it on this piece of wood here. So you'd have to clean this every day if you would do something like this. That's about it. That's how much was in there after eight hours of burning. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Like I said, it really helps me out. About 98% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So I'd really like to see if you guys could hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you nothing. Leave me a comment down below. I try to reply to all the early commenters. God bless and stay warm.